Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Jason. This is I Speak Geek, where I talk everything tech from my perspective. Today, I wanted to talk to you about iOS 16 and more importantly, the features that I found the most useful. Let's start with talking about the lock screen. That's probably one of the biggest and most notable improvements from the customization to the ability to add widgets. Currently, I have my activity, weather, calendar. I found it very useful to have the information I look at the most right there at a glance. Another feature that I'm enjoying is something you can't see, but can feel is haptic feedback. I think this feature is severely underrated because when you're typing, it's nice to have actual physical feedback. But I do find my battery draining a little bit quicker, although I find myself making less mistakes. Keeping in line with talking about typing, let's talk about undo send. It's probably a feature should have been ranked higher on my list because it is such a clutch feature, especially if you're like me and sometimes you send messages to the wrong recipient. I did this just the other day with my wife and my daughter. This feature not only is available in messages, but in email as well. An honorable mention does go out to recently deleted messages and the ability to recover them. So if you go into edit and then recover recently deleted messages, you can recover messages that may have been accidentally deleted. One of my favorite features has to be the ability to remove images from the background, especially for content creation. I'm able to get a pick of an item just the way I want it because I can pull it out from the background. One of my go-to features that has been greatly improved in iOS 16 is definitely dictation. So you no longer have to add punctuation. Uh, it's added automatically. So you don't have to say it out loud. It uses intelligence to put the punctuation in. I can't talk about iOS 16 without talking about maps and ability to add stops in your destination. I exclusively use maps for navigation. It has come a long way from its inception, it has gotten way more reliable. And I no longer see the need to have two map apps. Lastly, let's touch on notifications. I'm definitely feeling how notifications on the lock screen come from the bottom. Although I feel like I have fairly large hands, it's easier to swipe away from the bottom um, just because I'm not reaching all the way up to the top, pulling down where it's at the bottom. I can just swipe up and then get rid of that notification. You know, there are a lot more features that I failed to mention. And if I did, please leave them in the comments below and tell me what some of your favorite features of iOS 16. I know it's been out for quite some time now, but I figure I'd just give you guys my favorite features. So guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Jason and you just tuned into I Speak Gate. Later, peace.